Hi guys, today I'm gonna give another quick update. Um, this is what it looks like so far. So the bridge, it's done. The only thing is left, it's uh, the railings. Let me show you the previous railings. So this is the previous railing. You can see the bridge got longer, almost uh, five inches. And uh, these are uh, piano wires. I didn't like them because you can't solder them. Uh, I could solder some joints, but then glue and stuff so what i'm gonna use this time i'm gonna use uh, brass so i can solder it i have used on the other uh, bridge let me show you so this ones i've done it with brass and it came out much nicer uh, i could solder every joint so they're solid and all i had to do is paint them uh, that's what I'm gonna do for the next one okay uh, let me show you what I have done so far so the ground here it's ready uh, painted it earth color and uh, it's done so next thing I actually put those little stands under the bridge too you can see right there and here and uh, so I use foam what I do I uh, I use ground foam mm, I use these I paint them gray first I take them out and use a brush and paint them gray before I didn't paint them, you can see they're black. I paint them gray because my ballast is gray. So when I ballast it, I don't have to cover every little, I don't know, inch of it. So this way, if I miss a spot, it's not going to look that bad with the gray. All right, so here is done. Here's the gonna be a switch here and uh, another curved switch here. So I ended up eventually using the old uh, turnout that it was here. Uh, I don't know if you have seen my previous video. I built two new turnouts, one for here, one for the other side. So this one that I built here, I cannot use it because of the curve wouldn't match. I'll show you later. So then on this side, so the previous track was coming here. Now it's a, basically a parking for the, or cars or locomotives. So now comes here and here, it's this it's the same hasn't changed but here there is a change a little bit so there is one added switch here and this has shifted over first i was gonna do it um, this way let me show you i was gonna use like that but then here the curve wouldn't match very nicely so i ended up using a different method so i'll show you i'll put the tracks and the switches in place and i'll show you how it will look all right let me do that all right so this is how it's gonna look so this is the switch i built it's gonna go here this is the old one I ended up using it so it's gonna go here and this one will continue 
going all the way there. I, and this one here will go to this switch. This is a this additional switch. So I got to use a singlet, a time valid depot singlet for this one. And this one will split here. All right, so I like this uh, combination here and the here is gonna look like this. So this is the old switch. I kind of restored it a little bit and uh, this switch here, it's gonna be the same. It's gonna split here. It's not gonna change. The only thing here, a couple of things is gonna change is this one will go here before it used to go to this one so this was a dead end so now it's gonna be like this so this one is already done ready i cut this basically concrete here about an inch yesterday cut it straight it used to be a curve so I cut that and this is going to be a kind of like maintenance track or something here and uh, I like it this way. And this one continues going all the way over there. Okay, so the next step Oh, let me show you why the new switch that I spent so much time on it to build it, it won't work. So you can see the diverging rail matches the curve better than the outside. See, the outside one comes way out. So if I put this here like that, See the, the rail would come like around here so it would go out it won't work the inner rail the diverging one would work perfectly but the outer rail the main line here it won't work I'll use that somewhere else so so the next step is to drill holes for the servos here. This one is right on top of the 2x4 so I, I have to kind of carve a hole inside. This one is okay because there is a 3 quarter plywood and there is nothing under it. It will be okay. this one here this one is gonna be tough too because there is this here so I might need to cut that area here so that wouldn't be that bad this one here again is right on top of the 2x4 here I gotta uh, dig inside and this one is okay it's right on top of the 2x4, there's nothing under it. And this one is okay too, there is, uh, under it it's empty. This one too, there is nothing under. So two of them are going to be a little bit difficult. Alright guys, that's it for now. And uh, as soon as I'm finished, you know, with the rails and stuff, uh, I'll post another video so you guys can watch. Uh, please... Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.